Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody? Yeah. I'm doing good this morning. Me too. I slept good. I did too. I slept a rock. Yeah, me too. See, that's the top of going. Heck yeah. Morning motivation. Girls are feeling good this morning. They've been playing like crazy girls. Mm -hmm. Someone but got their bell rung. We don't know who. <laughs> Doesn't seem to affect them any though. They take a licking and keep on ticking, don't you? Pretty face. Oh, you didn't have to move. She's like, yeah, I did. Daddy's got that camera in my face. I don't like it. So do you feel like breakfast this morning? Yep. Okay. I'll get the... Uh, Scottle started. The walk started. The walk. The flaming walk. The cowboy cooker. Cowboy cooker. Gotta squeeze every last drop out of it. Bacon grease down in here. Woo. Yeah, it's steaming. Hot. Flaming hot, not like a Cheeto. And I'll turn that down a little bit. Too low. There we go. There you go. That's gonna be better. Lots of better. Sausage down in here. It's the ends. It's my least favorite part. I know, mine too. I don't know why. It's because you have to it out of the package. Yeah, and it's all sticky and yicky. It's like, bleh. Bound and determined, she wants to go for a ride right now. <gasps> Ooh, one of them's not an end. I got lucky! Yeah, yeah. Gee, Nugget, what you doing? Bacon. Yeah. Yeah, some bacon. -y. Bacon. -y. my ends to be like not cooked you know mm -hmm. like when they have that little rubbery piece on the end mm -hmm. of them
Ready for a plate. Yep. I see. She's freaking out. She says, oh, you want to give me a plate of bacon? No, I don't. Gracie, get away from this. It's too hot, babe. Is that um... mm -hmm. Watch out. Come on. Where are you with the toast? Not, not as bad as Daddy is. You about to get grease burned. Well, oh, it's a chocolate up there. Gracie, no. Mm -hmm. She got up close and personal with some bacon. Did she? Yeah, she did. She put her nose right to it. Daddy wouldn't even know. Stay away from bacon. He would. Stop doing that. Sliding around so much. There we go. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hot, <laughs> hot, hot. hot. We walk, did it again. Yeah, it did. Lord, thank you for this beautiful morning you've given us. Thank you for the cooler weather. Thank you for all your love and everything you do for us, Lord. Just bless this food and food for us and use it for the best nourishment of our body and be with us the rest of this day as we travel back home. We love you and pray all this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Ciao. Well, hey guys. Good morning. We're uh, at the devotion time here. And Lindy's going to be reading something out of her uh, Bible study mm -hmm. book. Yeah. Today I wanted to do a little something different. Only because Wednesday night at Bible study, um, we kind of went over this. And it struck a chord with me. And it has it has really made me think and and think 
real hard about it. Um, we are doing a Bible study on Wednesday nights at um, our church, The Names of God, and it's by Melissa, and I'm, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, but Spolstra, maybe? I'm hoping. <clears throat> and this is what it said. Every person on the planet was created in the image of God. It grieves him when we devalue his creation. We don't want to devalue something God greatly values, the pinnacle of his creation, people. Gossip assaults the image of God in others as we tear them down with words. Judgmental and condescending attitudes also push others down rather than lift them up. Abuse and mistreatment certainly certainly devalue people. We live in a world where people are aching to hear that they are valued and loved. Since we know that Elohim created every person in his image, may we be the loudest voices asserting the inherent value of every person. And it says, um, the big idea down here, it says Elohim created us and he only makes good things. That just struck a chord. I mean, yeah, I think about I'm created in God's image, but I don't think I really understand and comprehend and it doesn't hit me to the core. Um, I think you lose track of that. Oh, yeah. Day to day. Most you know, certainly. Life. And then when I think about others, I definitely don't put that application to them. Like, um, you know, I mean, we all have people that we don't necessarily get along with or, you know, and we, we don't think of them as a creation of God. We don't think of that homeless person as a creation of God, but they are, they're just as equal as we are. Mm. And that's the thing that we, we, we lose through everyday life and through thinking that we're above others in some way or another. And in a world right now where people are so angry and maybe bitter and resentful, what we need to remember the most is that God created us all equal. He loves every single one of us. And you don't like it when people talk behind your back or no. talk bad to you and no I mean so I mean and we need to treat others like what we would want to be treated like and that's the thing is that we always say that but I think that's a phrase that gets misused yeah. so often because yeah sure we don't want that other person talking bad about us but yet we go right on ahead and do it and um and and then also we got to think about how badly we treat ourselves as well not only others but we we mistreat ourselves extremely badly and we don't think of us ourselves as being worthy of everything god has done for us as everything jesus sacrificed on the cross for us but we we so are because like it says in here god creates only good things and regardless of whether or not we've got sin in our lives, you know, and sin in this world, we are still created in his image and we are deeply loved by him. Mm. And I just want you to know that regardless of how bad you feel right now and how bad those voices in your head are telling me that telling you that you're not worthy, you most certainly are. And so is everyone else out there. And we need to really take a time to reflect and and just understand that others not just ourselves were created in the image of god and we need to learn how to treat people that way yeah it's um it's just it's just vital because i mean right now the world is just hurting and they need to feel loved but the only way they can feel loved is by getting the love that only christ can provide for them good one let's pray lord jesus i thank you for bringing this upon my heart and i come to you with a joyful heart and i pray and i thank you for allowing me to just 
to really think about this and to understand that others are created by you and they are loved so much by you and I pray Lord Jesus that you will just make an impression upon our hearts that we will see things differently and open our eyes to what what you have and your word and what you have in store for us and just allow our minds to be open and our hearts to be open to you I pray Lord Jesus that you will touch the heart of, of those that watch and allow them to feel the love that only you can provide for them and allow them to know that you created them just the way they are and that they are beautiful they are loved and and that you want to have a close relationship with them and I pray Lord Jesus that this touches the heart of others and Jesus Christ glorious glorious name Heavenly Father and Holy Spirit I pray to you Amen. Amen. Well, guys, it's coming to the end uh, to another perfect uh, camping trip. Yeah. It's been a been a blessing to be out here. It's been a long time coming. It's been We've a been long working time. hard to get to this point. And it's been so hot. Oh, it has been hot. <laughs> and uh, we really lucked out this weekend. It really wasn't too too bad. No, I mean, regardless of the thunderstorms and stuff like yeah. that and all the rain, it really was a blessing. Yeah. I mean, so. Hope would probably think differently, but that's okay. <laughs> the, another another camping trip in the books, in the memory book. Yeah. Well, guys, go out and bless somebody this week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye. Love you. God bless.